All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Azizi Podcast, and we will do a weekly commentary on boxing. Uh, we're going to watch Sis Rocket's Rung Visai fight today with versus Sid Morsan. And my name is Samir Azizi, and this is my first ever commentary in English. Ladies and gentlemen, usually I do this in Russian, but just because I know you guys want to do this together, we should do this together. Let's do it in English. Okay. We're just going to do a little test. One, two. One, two. All right, I think we're good. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do the first fight. All right, so it's on Dazon and it's in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, I don't know how the people are watching it in Thailand, but if you guys are watching it on Dazon, then you have to subscribe to Dazon. And just for you, I have a special, I have a special link right here for Dazon. Dazon. All right, here's a link. And we're gonna watch the fights. We're gonna watch the fights today. Um, I have no idea who the fighter is right now, who's gonna come out. But it's whatever. We're just gonna watch it together, see how it's gonna go. Some dude just came out. He's wearing a, a coronavirus mask. And uh, I don't know why is he wearing it. Oh, and the announcer is wearing it too. Interesting. All right, so I guess in Thailand they're all, but it's kind of it's kind of cool looking, you know. It's it's not like just a mask. It's it's a shield. It's a face shield. It's it's a colorless face shield. And someone just came out. I don't know who's gonna comment. Who's gonna like call the fights? Will this be Sergio Mora and the crew, Chris Mannix and so on and so forth? Oh, some dude just came out in the same uniform as Sisterket. His name is Danai Niambu Kiao from Thailand. I think that's the that's like a Thailand national colors. Oh. All right. Meanwhile, I'm drinking my tea. It's Earl Grey, that ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom, and I'm reminding you that this is the first time. Oh, look at this guy. He's barely. I don't know why they're trying to do it over the the ropes and not in between the ropes. Why don't they just c like come into the ring in between the ropes, through the ropes, not over the ropes? I mean, you're obviously not tall enough. Like I'm not tall enough to do that. Ooh, I like the graphics. That's awesome. Oh, Thailand produ production crew is pretty good at that. It's not just the picture. It's actually ooh, look at that. Look at that. They're just doing this gesture, but it's cool. Like they're face to face, but they're showing it. Like it's a gif, like it's an animated stuff. I love that. I love that. It's better than just like the usual the zone, like weird, awkward, naked picture of two fighters together. All right, they're about to announce the whole thing. Ooh. All right, showing respect to each other. Who is who is calling the fight? I'm not sure who it is. And the graphics are different too. They're not usual the zone graphics. All right, so I'm going to go for the guy who looks like he's wearing the same clothing as Sisraket usually does, which is I guess national um colors of Thailand. I'm assuming here, but I'm going to say he's the favorite. But that other guy is pretty, pretty active. Look at him. Anyways, I I know nothing. I don't know nothing about fight calling, so don't don't judge me on that. Oh, and the picture went down. No, we're still good. Okay, so you know what these graphics? Oh, they slightly show who's who here by like a little color um, emphasize of their trunks. Okay, so Witchet, Witchet is the blue guy. Cool, cool. Ooh, Danai just did this whole one too. Gosh, it's so hard to speak in English, yo. I wish someone just commented in Russian so I can just switch to Russian really quick. But anyways, that's a good practice because no one's gonna watch this video anyways, and I'm just gonna practice saying stuff out loud while watching the fights, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we're seeing two fighters. 
I think one of them is for sure Tai, but maybe both of them. I kind of like Witchet because he looks like a little tank. You know, he looks he looks badass. He's all ripped and stuff. But obviously he's a, he's a B side, I think. Um, but he looks cool. He looks cool. He has this like weird like hail mary punches. But uh, Denial looks very precise. He looks like he he will do like the one two series and he'll knock him out eventually. I would say might be not a knockout actually. Six rounder. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. If there's a knockout, I think it's gonna be after like round three. I would say, let's say round four, there might be a knockout, but who knows? Man, I'm gonna wear my glasses. If I have them. Where are they? Hold on a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I just got my glasses because I'm tired of pretending that I don't need them to see. I gotta see it because I don't like to, to be, how do you say? Ah. To squint my eyes, to squint my eyes. I feel like I need some tequila for this because I'm a little bit worried about saying something in English because all of a sudden, except instead of a tiny little small audience who watches boxing in Russian, I have this entire world that can potentially check me out and judge how I say stuff and what I say so I don't know but it is what it is you know at least it's not like a mega fight it's still a good fight but uh fuck oops just just said the word see another thing is that I shouldn't swear I shouldn't swear here see that that's another thing because uh, I think it will be demonetized or something. Who knows? I actually have no idea. But I do need to adjust my glasses a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, the first round is over between two guys that I don't know who they are. But they look pretty cool. And it's round two. And I think we're still going for Danai. Who looks like he's wearing... I think that's the same trunks that Sister Cat usually wears. But I'm not sure. I mean, I, I really like the colors. Like the bright red and the bright yellow. It just screams attack. By the way, I've been to uh, Superfly 2 where Chocolatito was fighting with Sister Kid and I saw that massive knockout and I've been there. And cool story. So when I was watching that fight, um, everyone was rooting for Chocolatito, you know, Latin American. And, and that was in Los Angeles as well. But when he, But there was like one small little lady and she was from Taiwan. And she was screaming so loud, you know, rooting for Sister Kid, and everyone was laughing at her. Like, oh, lady, like, chill out, your boy is gonna get dropped, and stuff like that. But then, when Sister Kid got the win, it was the, she was so happy, it was like one of the most amazing things to see how happy she was and how disappointed everyone else around her was. So it's just like, I don't know, like one of the memories. I still have the tickets from that fight. It was at the Stop Hub Center, now it's a Dignity Health Center. Um, but yeah, so, but meanwhile, we still have this. Uh, fight is 1 minute 47 uh, left until the end of the second round. We have Danai Nibuh Nipfu Kiao Nipfu Kiao Nipfu Kiao versus Wichet Seng Prakhon. And he is going hard on this guy. I think they just did a little headbutt there, but I think it's deemed to be okay. Shook the hands. Ouch, ouch. Man. He throws some dangerous punches, that Wichet guy. I like his name, Widget. Ouch. Oh, that was interesting. Seems like an illegal punch. Anyways. Ah. And I see that there's no crowd here. And it's funny, like, I like to see how happy... Like, I wish they would show more about Taiwan because I see... I don't see much here, right? What's happening around the ring. 
you know, this Witcher guy, he really likes to hold the head and then, you know, kind of grab you, which is illegal. So I don't know why the ref is not stepping in here. Uh, but I really like the production here, right? Not like I like it, but I want to see more about the production. Oh, and here is the knockdown. Oh, wow. The ref didn't, didn't say it's a knockdown. He didn't count it as a knockdown. What the hell? That was weird. Was it like a slip? Huh. Oh, knockout, ladies and gentlemen, second round. No, it's not a knockout. It's a knockdown. He still might be getting up. Is he getting up, Jim? Ooh. Got up like a warrior. But he's shook. He's shook. Oh, man. Saved by the bell. But that was... Uh, he definitely got shook there. And uh, I don't know what's the rules there. The first one was a knockdown for sure. But the rep didn't do anything. He didn't stop the fight. Didn't give the tank count. And the second one just proved, you know, I don't know. I feel like the rev there should have stepped in in the first place. Let's see the first one. Okay, so our dude, the M150 dude, missed some good punches. But he also responded really well, so that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. There you go. Like, it didn't to be he just got off balance by, like, some sort of a slip, but... Look at that magnificent, sh oh my god, those shots are beautiful, beautiful shots, legit knockdown, loving it, I'm loving it, this dude is pretty cool, I love watching that, and and especially for the weight like this, which is like pretty much, I don't know, some super lightweight, flyweight or whatever, it's, uh, it's very hard to knock someone out, because the power punch is not there, but look at that, he accomplished it. And we're starting the round three, ladies and gentlemen, round three. And I was just saying, as I was saying, like, I'm really curious about, like, what else is happening around the ring there, because it's Thailand. I mean, I've never been to Thailand, but I would love to go visit and see how things are working. You know, lately I've been thinking about visiting a lot of things, a lot of cities or countries, because with this pandemic stuff, you know, you're realizing, like, life is short, you know, it's, and, and what are you doing? Like, you're just sitting at home and working, like... Oh, our dude, Richard, is actually responding. He wants to catch up with the, with the Nye. Look at that. But Danai is smiling. He's like, I'm taking those shots. It's all good. Oh, body shot from Danai. Response with a couple hooks from uh, Wichit. Danai versus Wichit. Damn, Wichit does like some Tyson-esque punches. Oh my god, nice to the liver. Response, uh, Danai response with the punch to the liver. Oh, hook to the, from the right side. Right hook, right hook, uppercut. Left hook to the body. Oh, damn. Wichit doesn't care anymore. He's just gonna go broke. Wow, okay, this is fun, this is fun, oh, damn, this is good, Danai just responded with a stunning three combination, three punch combination, and dropped Witchet. Witchet is getting the 10 count, and he is being basically told, you gotta respect Danai, don't you go all berserk on him, let's see, a whole minute, 30 seconds is left until the end of the third round. And I'm not sure if he's gonna... No, he's still going there. He still goes for broke. He's like, I don't care. I'm gonna get knocked out. I'm gonna die on this ring. I'm just gonna do my thing. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, what a heart on this guy. What a heart on Wichet Seng Prakon. Seng Prakon. Man, I just love their last names. They're so badass. Oh, no. He just dropped him again. All right. I think this is... No, it's still a 10 count. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm, the guy's obviously trying, he's, no, 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 I think this is it, this is it, he's struggling to get up, he, he did get up, but yeah, he missed some cool shots, but, um, yeah, good job, Danai, I mean, it was a great fight, I actually love this fight, this was actually very surprising how great this fight actually was, so, I mean, if y'all are watching, you should tune into the zone. I provided the links where you can subscribe to it, but I love it, I love it so far. Man. Respect to Witcher though, like I love his heart. He just went there. I, I mean, this was great. This was great for sure. And uh, you know, Danai can really take a punch. I, I I appreciate his jaw. That was pretty good. Good test for him. I don't. I'm not sure which fight was that for him. I know like in Thailand they like they just fight nonstop. So I'm I wouldn't be even be surprised that it's like tenth fight for him. But it might be actually one of the first fights for him. So who knows? I wonder what else the show in the zone in Thailand. You know, because, like, apparently in Canada, where I'm from, we cannot see some of the um, 
some of the uh, like like the, the documentaries, you know, the Triple G documentary, we we cannot see the Ibiza documentary, we cannot see. I don't know why we cannot see documentaries, but I guess some some sort of a film union rights or something like that. But I wonder what else they have in Thailand there. Man, I kind of want to go to Thailand. Anyways, this is Samir Azizi, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to you know to, to push that like button and subscribe. Subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta subscribe to my channel. I just noticed I have a little, um, how do you say it, um, a watermark there. Ruslan, здорово. Ruslan, я на английском говорю сегодня. Так что если что, включайся. Just saying hi to to one of my subscribers. Как дела, Руслан? I just told him like I'm doing English today, so not Russian. So we'll see how this works. Ruslan, не забывай подписаться и поставить лайк, естественно. Damn! Look at that! Look at that! Stunning punch that you know the night just performed. That that was some crazy stuff. I love their announcer. Their announcer looks slick. Something with the audio though. Okay. Then I won. Team one fifty, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is a fake clapping, but we'll take it. It's all good. By the way, for some reason, Sisrokia Surangwisai is called the Rat King, um, as far as I saw, like, on Twitter. I'm not sure if that's his official nickname, or it's just, like, something that he's been called. I do see a picture of him eating a rat, so I'm not sure what's happening there. If, if anyone knows, like, what's up with the... Ruslan from Kazakhstan, man! If anyone knows what's up with the Rat King nickname, like, let me know. I love the I love the announcer, the the Taiwanese Mike Buffer. All right, the zone. What's happening? What's happening here? We have a commercial break. No, we have a promo video. Let's see. Juan Francisco Estrada, who's fighting tomorrow, by the way, versus Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, ladies and gentlemen. All right, forty-one wins, three losses. Chocolatito Gonzalez. Boom. Yeah, it's gonna be a tremendous fight tomorrow. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, I'm not super, like, huge on... Um, not, like, huge. I know it's a great fight. And actually, it was the, one of the greatest experiences. Like, I was happy. I was lucky to watch Chocolatito fight Sir Rangusite live. Live. In Los Angeles. And that was one of the best experiences I had in boxing. And, uh, but, you know, like, I'm not, like, like increasingly pumped about this fight, but I do realize that a lot of boxing heads are appreciating this fight because they are appreciating the talents, the technique, the skill of this professional boxers, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be watching tomorrow, and I'm going to be commentating that as well, so let's see, let's see what we can do here, yo. Yeah, boy. Meanwhile, two people are watching me right now, which is fine, you know, it's all good, it's even better, so no one can hear me speak in English, but, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully at some point we can increase that viewer count, you know what I mean? Alright, so we're we're basically being showed some promotion from Chocolatito, I'm not sure why is it in black and white also, what's, what's up with that? What's with that, what's up with black and white thing? You know, DAZN sometimes does, like, weird things like this, like, let's show all Chocolatito fights in black and white. And some other wheels show in color. Is that because some sort of a rights or quality or something like that? I don't understand that. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be a cool fight. It's going to be a unification fight. Absolute, absolute legends. Uh, you know, Eddie Hearns always like to say that. Absolute legends. Absolute, absolute legends. Yeah, man. British accent, yo. Anyways, whoever just came in here, hello. This is Samir Azizi. We're talking fights here on my channel, Azizi Podcast. Check out my interviews. Check out my uh, content. Subscribe. Of course, subscribe. Press that like button. Subscribe. Bell button. All the buttons. If you see a button, push it. But anyways, we're watching here uh, Sir Rangvisai versus uh, Sith, uh, Sith Morgan. 
and um, we just have some preliminary fights. We're, and you know, the first one with Danai was pretty good, so stick around, we'll watch it together. But also drop a comment, and if you want to subscribe to the zone, uh, there's a link in the comments and in the chat that I provided, so definitely click on that link for sure. Damn, I just love this animation. Not animation, but like the, it's life. I like how they're like taunting each other. Look at that. That's so cool. I love it. Man, I love it. I love this whole like like uh, you know gesturing stuff on the animated. It's not like animated, but it's like a motion picture kind of thing. <laughs> it's so cool looking. I don't know why, but maybe I'm just nerding out here. But I really love how they they, they show that. So okay, so we're gonna have fun uh, Safon. Panyakum, Fonsakon Panyakum versus Karun Ju Jarupian Lert. Jarupian Lert. Okay, Panyakum. Okay, so I'm gonna call them Karun versus Fong Safon. Fong Safon and Karun. Karun and Fong Safon. So Fong Safon was gonna be in the red corner, and Karun's gonna be in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen. And okay, so meanwhile we can see the studio here where the whole thing is. Obviously, no crowd. I think there's some crowd there a little bit, but like overall, no crowd for sure. So I guess, you know, they're taking it really, really seriously in Thailand as well. And we can see here, it says WP Boxing. Oh, Kimbo, здорово, чувак. Uh, я просто сейчас делаю на английском языке всю эту тему. Поэтому, uh, uh, поэтому если что, не обижайся, Кимбо. Ну, конечно же, по традиции поставь лайк. Like. Another subscriber of mine just tuned in and I just told him, like, we're doing English today. So he should just press that like button. But um, let's watch the fights, you know. Come on, let's do the ring walks. Как дела, Кимба? You guys, push that like button. Like my video. You know, audio is not the best with the, with the whole thing. I think it's not transmitting well. Although the announcer sounds pretty good. 115 funtов, ребята. 115 pounds, everyone, everybody. Former world title challenger, ladies and gentlemen. I remember the one was Karun, and I forgot the other one's name. Ooh, look at that promo video. Some TikTok-style videos there. By the way, I downloaded Triller yesterday. Man, that app is glitchy. Oh, my God. All right, Karun is up here. Harupianler from Thailand. Karun is here. He's walking out, and we have the fake, fake uh, applause. But, um... Uh, but yeah, man, like, I, I see what Triller tries to do, but TikTok is so much better, although I will try to use Triller more, because I like, I like some of the aspects of it, but all, all together, Triller is just not there at all, why are they all going above the ropes, I don't understand that thing, is that some sort of a superstition, like, they're all going over the ropes and not through the ropes, I don't understand that, you guys are 115 pounds, like, come on, all right, Here's our eight side, ladies and gentlemen. WBC Asia Super Flyweight Champion, yo, okay. All right. Damn, I like I like the graphics. I like it. I like the whole thing. It's definitely good quality. You know, it's a good quality. Like they're doing some good production here. The the camera work is good. Everything is good. I'm not sure if like that's like a thing for them, like a benchmark to be good, or it's just like a usual like everyday situation for them. But everything is pretty good. And based in judging by the fact that I'm seeing different sort of production titles and lower thirds and all of that, I can definitely tell that it's probably some third party company that provides the stream uh, to the zone. It's not like the zone is not in charge of it um for sure they're just getting the whole thing streamed uh like they're buying the stream i think and sponsoring the whole thing but they're not in charge of production nonetheless i mean it's a good job i'm, I'm so far no complaints whatsoever Buyakasha. karun japun 
Jada Puyanle, former world title challenger of Nanoye Inoue. Pacific champion. Challenger from Thailand, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see. Let's see what they can do. Just still seeing some announcement here. Paniakam, Paniakam. All right, we're gonna have our fight soon, legend. Let me, let's let's just see. Let's just see how it works. Here. Karun is his birth name. Okay, the judges are all from Thailand. Round one, fight. Boom, the first. All right, I actually forgot who's from which corner. Because, yeah, Karun is blue corner. Okay. Yeah, our, our dude, uh, Fong Safon, he, he throwing jabs like right away, playing the number one card. You know, he's playing the first. How do you say it in English? Playing the first number, being number one, something like that. He's he's going forward. He's getting the generalship of the ring. I feel like he wants to do it. He wants to like, you know, it's funny they're not showing their their uh, tail of the tape here. I mean that would be useful to see, but I feel like they don't show it because there might be like a lot of losses or something like that. Like in Thailand, they're not really care about the zero. Maybe that's why. But we can definitely see that uh, Fong Safon is uh, he's a forward walking fighter. He is definitely pressuring Karun, and um, I don't know. He was pretty confident to me. Man, I'm like, I like that I'm, uh, I haven't eaten today, so it's it's much easier to talk and and just sit and say something out loud and like speak nonstop. Because if, for example, if I've eaten a pizza or something and then I talk for two hours straight, then I I have this weird mucus, like I cannot talk for prolonged amounts of time. But <clears throat> right now it seems to be okay. I wonder how long is this undercard going to be because I started from the very beginning and maybe that was a mistake. I'm not sure if I'm going to be sitting here for like four hours or something, but we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Ba -da -ba -ba. All right. And also, by the way, tomorrow Cecilia Brekus is taking on McCaskill to get her titles back. So we'll see how this is going to work out. I, I really hope Cecilia's going to win. All right. So the the two fighters are sort of filling up, each, filling out each other. You know, nothing too drastic. You know, feeling the distance, feeling the reach, and there is like a jab on the backward leg uh, from uh, Karun, and uh, he's doing all right. You know, he has his uh, he has his glass close to his head, so he's protecting himself. Uh, here is a combination of punches from Fon Safon, but he withstood it. Karun withstood it pretty well, pretty well. So let's see, let's see what else is gonna happen. Boom! Nice left to the body from Karun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, responding, Fon Safon responding with his own double to the body. Uh, might actually, no, it was all right. They're like very easy, but it looks like a sparring right now. They're just like. Very relaxed, and there's no tension and um, combinations from phone suck phone, but oh there you go. Left hook. Left hook lost. Left hook was missed by uh Karun, but I feel like it was alright. It was a good first round. Feeling out each other, but uh, it was good. It's good. Oh bueno. So obviously I guess all the one fifty uh team 
red and yellow um, color um, uniform. I think they are in charge of the whole event. So I guess all of their fighters are A-side fighters here. So we'll see. Yeah, we can see on the highlights that uh, Fong Safon is definitely landing some nice body shots. And towards the end, he started like definitely break through the through the guard. But And Karun is actually responding with nice punches as well. I mean, uh, a nice punch. Obviously, the highlights are favoring Fong Safon. But I know that Karun also landed some nice uh, punches and hooks to the body. Left hook to the body, yo. All right. It's funny, it's, they don't have the belt, they have the ring. Ooh. I just love the whole body language that the guys have. All right, run number two. And, um, yep, I mean, the guys, I'm not going to talk much here. I'm just going to watch it. I want to, I like, save some energy. So, if anything, you can hit me up. But, yeah, the guys are just, you know, just fighting well. Nice combination from Funk Safone. Oh my god, this was these are some great shots. And don't forget that he was a world the Karun was a world title challenger, so he has some experience behind his belt as well. But look at those nicely blending hooks and combinations from like varying from two punches to five punches from Funk Safon Panyakum. Oof, okay. I feel like Fong Safon wants to finish this early and he just goes straight uh, for the knockout. I feel like he... Just, I don't know. I don't see much of the defense from Fong Safon, but maybe he doesn't even need it at this point. I mean, he's pretty confident and Karun doesn't seem to like give any trouble to Fong Safon. So we'll see. We'll see. Perhaps he's just trying to... Um, how do you say it? To di do like a little diversion, and once Fong Safon is confident enough, Karun's gonna be like, boom, here you go. But look at those combinations. I mean, who can withstand them? Nice combination from Karun. Two to the body, one uppercut from Karun. That was pretty cool. I love hearing how the, like, the punches are actually landing on these boxers. Meanwhile, one minute is left until the round two is ending, and uh, we can still see Fong Safon, the A side man, trying to pressure Karun, the veteran. And so far, he's doing a good job. We can see, oh, nice right hook just uh, got missed by Karun. And Fong Safon is uh, speeding up. He's getting to the next gear here. I can see that for sure. He wants, he goes for the kill here for sure. All right. Nice combinations from Karun on the back leg. Tries not to get pressured and not, not to be uh, pressured against the ropes here. Playing as number two. All right. Some punches are being landed. Oh. All right. I think that was, was, what, number three ended. I don't know. I feel like Karun is still in the game. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is Samira Zizi. I'm doing this in English for the first time. Usually I do fight commentary in Russian. And I guess the only reason I do this, like, say that out loud so that you don't judge me too hard. But in reality... Um, in reality... I don't care. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely like worried like how long is this undercard's going to be because I hope it's not going to be for too long. Because it's already what? It's already 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. here on the East Coast. So I hope they're going to like get it done in maybe another, I would say, an hour and a half. And we can we can call it a night and go to sleep and enjoy the fights tomorrow as well. But 
para papá. Para papá. All right, left hooks from Fong Safon right now. Going forward, going straight. But I like I like that Karun is still in the game and he doesn't let you know anything slid by him. If if uh, if the defense will be open for uh, from Fong Safon, Karun's gonna take that opportunity. But still, Fong Safon is so confident he just goes straight to the, against his opponent and just lands those vicious hooks and jabs. And I can see the sweat and the the head is you know popping. Uh, from Karun, but I mean, he's still in the fight. I mean, I, I guess he, he lands those punches, but I don't see much power in those punches. What do you guys think? All right. Definitely, Karun is like, he's not gassed whatsoever. He's very relaxed. I don't, I, a little tired, I can see that, but he's not gassed at all. Like, he's not. Nice, nice uh, camaraderie here in the ring. I think at this point, uh, Fong Safon is starting to respect um, Karun, and he understands now that he's not—he's a tough cookie, and you gotta be a little bit smarter and a little bit on the, like a smarter side to defeat him. Although, like he goes again, look at that; those combinations of several punches uh, tries to hit behind the head. By the way, uh, but I don't know—it just seems like he has experience. Like Karun has experience, and he just takes those punches. Some of them are landing on him, some of them are goes to his defense. But he's just like, all right, all right. You do your shot. You, you you know you go ahead and get tired, and then we'll see. By the way, the the the, the gloves of both fighters are exactly identical. Oh, now uh, Karun is taking some risks and uh, uh, and making some combinations. But uh, nice. You know I love this undercard. It's definitely like a, a good quality matchup for sure. It's a good quality matchup. Still playing on the back uh, on the back leg, Karun. But oh, nice uppercut from Karun. See, definitely like you shouldn't you should take him more seriously, Fong Safong. Come on. Yeah, I feel like he doesn't have that punching power. Right? I, I just don't feel like uh, uh, Karun is feeling those punches. You know, he's just like waiting until until uh, uh, Fong Safong gets a little tired after his. Oh, nice apricot is missing from, from Fon Safon. You know, two boxers are smiling and shakes each other like they do like the fists and stuff. So it looks like it's a nice, nice camaraderie here. But you can see that this opponent is not some, you know, a tomato can. He is an experienced fighter and he's just uh, waiting until Fon Safon just gets tired. And then he he goes in. Interesting corner. It's like uh, there's a lady in the corner of, Fung, of Karun. Of course, the highlights will show us uh, the the team M150 fighter, which is Fong Safon. So let's see, maybe they will show us. Yeah, well, actually, they do show us some good stuff from uh, from Karun as well. So I don't know. Ooh, we see Sis Rocket. He is getting ready. Look at that. We can see him in the ring, not in the ring, but uh, he's uh, he's over there overwatching the fight right now. Funny, he's not in his dressing room. I wonder if that's because the fight's gonna be so far away right now. I don't know. And round number four, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Fong Safon still goes towards. He goes forwards. He is getting that ring generalship. While Karun is just weathering them. I mean, obviously Karun is losing on scorecards. That's for sure. But I feel like it's a 10-rounder. It's a 10-rounder, and we're not even going through the half of the fight. So I feel like Karun is just uh, saving up his uh, uh, his energy. But um, let's see. He's definitely missing some punches, but I'm not sure if if, if, if Fong Safon really punching that hard. What do you guys think? Let me know. My name is Samir Azizi. I'm commentating this fight in English for the first time. I hope you're enjoying it. And if you're not enjoying it, at least... Oh, wow. Fong Safon is landing some good shots on Karun. And if you're not enjoying it, it's okay. It's okay. Just subscribe to The Zone. Watch the fight. Listen to... I don't know. The British commentary. And meanwhile, 
Karun is going backwards, but he's still landing some great shots on Fong Zafong. You know, this is a fun fight. I love this fight. Look at that. Still landing. Fong Zafong still landing. Trying to work in two stories. Or two, how do you say? Floors, right? In Russian, we say two floors, right? And, you know, body and head. Body and head. Head to the body. Body to the head. Ooh. But still, nice, nice combinations. Triple jab and right hook to the body from Karun. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's up with the? Uh, what's up with our sound there? Okay, I see like. Fong Safon is missing some shots, but he's definitely landing much more shots than he's missing. So, I still see Fong Safon winning on the scorecards regardless. But we'll see. It's only round four, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, still missing some shots. I don't know. Karun is, Karun is starting to miss some shots for sure. And we don't see we don't see him, uh, Fong Safon tiring too much. But we'll see. It's only round four. It's only round four. Oh, nice, nice hook. To the head from Karun. Place to the body. Ooh, nice right hook from Karun on Fong Safon. Look at that. Oh, it's getting angry. Fong Safon is getting angry. He's getting angry. He's getting in that clinch and like in this super short distance in the pocket. He tries to land as many punches as possible. But... Karun also landed some good uppercut. Uh, we can see, on, obviously, I can see Fong Safon is getting a little tired. Not like tired, but he's, he's getting a little annoyed. He's getting a little angry. That he is... Uh, it, it's it's uh, demoralizing, you know. You're performing so well, you're landing so many shots, but the guy is still in the game and he's still a danger to you, you know. So that's uh, I feel like that's uh, that's frustrating for, for Fong Safon. But we'll see, you know, round five, we're gonna get to the middle of this fight and we'll see how everyone's performing. But I honestly, I don't see a knockout here, or at least not until may maybe not round seven. I mean, obviously, Fong Safon is leading here and Karun is missing some devasta devastating shots. But he's also responding with some good shots, especially uppercuts in the clinch and in the pocket. And some, you know, right hooks as well from Karun. So, I mean, he's definitely game. He's pretty much a danger still. So, intriguing stuff, yo. Intriguing stuff. And I'm reminding everybody that my name is Samir Azizi. And I'm commentating boxing fights in Russian for the first... No, excuse me. In English for the first time ever. So, I'm basically test driving my skills here. To see how do I speak English live. And whether you can tolerate... My Russian accent that I tried to hide so badly. All right, round number five. Phone to phone still goes forwards, but I still see... I can see that he's getting a little tired, although he's letting some nice... It's kind of funny. So, the both fighters are, are tired, so essentially the balance is still there. Phone to phone is still landing some good shots, uh, but he is getting tired and he's getting slower. And at the same time, Karun is getting slower as well, and his defense is getting worse as well. So, both fighters got worse. Which didn't really change the outcome of anything at all. All right. The first minute of our round number five has gone. Oh, nice. Nice uppercuts. Double uppercut from Karun and finished with a nice hook to the head. Wow. Just combination after combination. I'm really digging this. I'm really digging this undercard. Wow. What a fight. Look at that. Oh, snapped back. The head of Karun goes forward for Safon, but Karun is still responding with nice uppercuts. Both fighters are still very much in the game. Karun is still there. He absolutely knows what he's doing. He absolutely has some energy for some vicious punches. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what's... Um... Ooh, I think he just missed a good punch. I feel like we should... All right, I don't know what, what to think here. I feel like I think Karun is getting a little gassed here, so I think we're close. We're close here to the end of this fight. 
Because honestly, I'm surprised by how much energy Fongsafon still has here towards the end of the round number five. I mean, uh, it's like he has a second wind or something, but his output is actually increasing towards the end of this round. But Fongsafon is definitely throwing some punches as well. Um, I don't know. I th he's still in the game, but he's tired as well. I don't know what to say here. Honestly, if the fight's gonna go the same way, I think it's pretty much clear who's gonna win. Unless we can see something special from Karun. I mean, he definitely shows his shows some light, some energy spurs, but uh, I don't think the power is there to really do some damage for Fong Safon, who is the favorite of this fight for sure. What do you guys think? By the way, my name is Samira Zizi. Uh, this is my channel, Azizi Podcast. Check out my interviews, check out my content. Don't forget to subscribe and push the like button. Press like, yo. Uh, all right. The end of num round number five. Round six. Fight. La 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 la. It's to me. Так, ребятки. Yeah. All right. Highlights. We can see some good highlights. I like, you know, maybe I was wrong about highlights being biased towards Fongsafong or towards the M50, M150 fight because I do see some cool highlights from, from the opposite team as well. Guys, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. I'm fasting today just for 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 giggles, you know. I just want to like do a little bit of detox on Friday and uh, before my cheat meal day uh, tomorrow. But um yeah, hungry. Hungry. All I can feel right. All I can think about is cheese, uh ice cream and some beef. I don't know, weird combination, but I love it. All right, round, round number 6, yo. Round number six, Karun versus Fongsafone. And uh, all right, let's see what's gonna what's gonna happen here. Uh, again, as I said before, we can see that uh, Karun is more he is very experienced. He is a, he is a former world title challenger. Uh, we can see that he's playing uh, like as a number two. He goes backwards a lot. Basically, he goes backwards all the time, and Fongsafone just pressures him and uh, tries to perform as many combinations as he can and honestly i feel like around 50 percent of every punch is actually landing for him and by the way we don't have any punch stats for this fight oh nice combination from karoon three fight three punch combination triple jab and three punch combination from karoon right now and we can have seen the sweat of funk Safone flying all over the ring Interesting. All right, I feel like Karun is finally getting tired. Meanwhile, we see a little swelling on the right eye, under the right eye of Fongsafon. Oh, missing some great punches right now. Karun from Fongsafon, some uppercuts and left hooks, but still responding, he's still there. His face is still untouched. His face looks like he wasn't in the fight at all. No swellings, nothing. That's why I wonder, like, whether there's power on, the, like, from his punches for Fong Safong, because he, there's definitely speed and precision. I definitely respect that, but like in terms of power, I don't know. But again, I mean, it's 115 pounds, so you know, we're just talking about physics here, right? What just happened? What just happened? Maybe there was some below the belt action or something like that. Honestly, it's getting a little boring. Like I'm getting more a little bored. I want to see some something new. I mean, yeah, it's cool. The guys are landing. The shots look great. I'm just like, what's uh? So what's what's next? Like, what's the next level? What's the next gear here? You know, because uh, I want to see that. I want to see what's going to happen. But right now, we're just seeing the same thing. And now, I'm, you know, I'm not as excited anymore. Something needs to happen. I mean, I mean, we cannot have this for another four rounds. Right? Or can we? I mean, if we will have this for another four rounds, I'll be a little bit disappointed. 
little bit disappointed I will be. All right, the round was over. Two fighters still very much in the game. They look very much in the game. Yeah, nice highlights, a lot of shots. Actually, he rocked Fong Safong once. That's actually pretty interesting. All right. Ooh, we're getting, we've shown Sir Rangvisai right now, and he is on some sort of bamboo mat, and he's being massaged. Jesus, what's happening? He's being massaged by his team. Interesting. We can see uh, Karun is speaking to his trainer right now. I wonder what he's saying to him. All right. Oh, I thought that was a lady. That's actually a guy. Look at his mohawk. What? That's awesome. <laughs> All right, round number seven. Let's um, let's see what's gonna happen next. Still, Fong Safon's playing number one. He's uh, he's going forward. Karun doesn't mind. Goes backwards. Oh, nice. Nice uppercut and hook to the head from Karun. Definitely, we can see some sweat flying around. Wow, wow. Increasing pressure right now from Safon on Karun. But Karun still kind of has this under control and still checks Fong Safon from time to time and landing some nice shots. Mainly with his uppercut and the right hook to the head. Place with the jab as well. It's interesting. It's like now Karun has a little bit of a second win here. Second wind. And I'm reminding you all that I'm commentating fight over here. To watch this fight, please go to the zone. Subscribe to the zone by using the link that I've provided. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy the fights together. And don't forget to watch the fights tomorrow as well, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. We still see going forward, Fong Safon. I love hearing how, you know, the punches are being landed. Same thing, ladies and gentlemen, same thing. I don't see anything different right now. Fong Safong goes forwards. Karun goes backwards. He tries to defend himself. Plays with an uppercut. Couple punches. He definitely shows uh, Fong Safong that he is still in the game. Like, he is still a danger to him. So, I mean, that's uh, that's cool. Like, I love that. But at the same time, um, Fong Safong needs to put the pedal to the floor, so to say, and, like, maybe perform something interesting here. And again, I don't know, like, how how much of a challenge this fight it is for him on paper. Like, I don't know what's happening here. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it is a pretty tough fight for him. But he is still throwing nice combinations. We can still see that he is definitely powerful. He still has his stamina. He was a little tired, but looks like he is now... Going back to the whole thing, uh, going back to being super active, but Karun always responds. Like he never, he never gets rocked. He's, he never gets rocked. He never gets unsettled or annoyed by the punches. He's just the, uh, he just weathers it out, and then he just responds with a couple uppercuts and nice right hook, and I feel like that's pretty much it for him. So maybe he's betting. Well, 
first of all, he's probably betting on first, like, okay, let's do like a late knockout or stoppage. Or second, he's like, I'm just gonna have a good time here, fight with this dude, with this kid, and uh, get my paycheck. So uh, we'll see. Let me check Twitter. The stream currently bitrate is lower than the recommended. Why is our bitrate stream is lower than recommended? What's happening? What's happening? What happened? No, looks like our bitrate is fine, fam. We good, fam. What's happening? Mm. Yeah, boy. And I'm reminding everyone that we're watching Sister Cat Sarong Visai fight versus um, Sith Morsen. And right now we're watching Undercard. We're watching Undercard with these cool fighters. I love how they fight, but it gets low. It gets a little old, so we'll see. We'll see how it works. Man, hold on. Let me put in some uh, some charger. I'm still here, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. Got my phone on the charge. Yo, we back and nothing changed in this fight. It's round number eight and we're seeing exactly the same thing as we saw in the round number one, two, three, four, five. Which is a little bit disappointing, but I don't know. Maybe we're just gonna see, maybe we're getting in towards those final rounds and we'll really see who has the most stamina in this, in this game. All right. Nice body shot from Karun. Still goes forward, funks a phone. I feel like both of them are gonna be in this manner for until the end of the fight and Fong Safon is gonna just like claim the victory by points which is totally deserved I mean there's nothing yes obviously Fong Safon is be winning but we'll see we'll see ladies and gentlemen Sister Kid Sarang Visai will fight a little bit in uh, a little bit later right now we're watching Undercards welcome to Azizi Podcast where I'm talking about fights commentating and talking to you in the chat let me know, let me know in the chat section below, what's up, don't forget to subscribe and press that like button, everybody. Hmm. Still seeing some swelling under the right eye from Fong Safon, but that doesn't seem to bother him at all. Little tired Karun, smiles back at him, Fong Safon. Keeps missing, keeps missing. Um, Fong Safong, but... Yeah, he's definitely taking all the rounds. Every round he won, that's for sure. Yeah, that's interesting. Absolutely um, great fight, great matchup. The only thing is, again... I'm not very um, big or experienced on 150 pound, 15 pound division. So I guess maybe each fight is something like this. Um, but again, I think like that's why we love middleweight so much is that because that's the weights where we see a lot of knockouts. But um, we'll see. I just wish there was like a little bit more of uh, like the fight that we saw previously was pretty dramatic. And here it's kind of 
it's consistent. It's 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 good. Like I love the action, but it's it's very consistent. It's not there's no drama, you know, there's no unexpected situations there. Round nine. Fight. All right. You know, still, still the same thing. I don't see anything different. Ooh. On the back foot, still playing really good. Fonksophone. Maybe once or twice per round, like, unfortunately. But maybe that's all he needs to stay on uh, at that middle where he can be like a favorable opponent where you know everything's possible ooh a nice punch just missed Karun from Fonsafong maybe it's a little maybe even rocked a little bit in the legs look at that look at that something is happening there ooh nice jab from Karun all right all right all right all right, things, something's happening here. Something's. I think Fonksafon finally smells blood. Let's see if he's gonna go for the kill. Or maybe it's just a trap. No, I can see a little bit weird. Like he's weird. Karun's body language is really weird right now. But he's still pretty. Like actually, he's very well coordinated. Like the way he's dodging the punches, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Trying to be a little Floyd Mayweather right now, I'm seeing. You know. Jabbity jab, 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 jab. <sighs> yeah. Nice right hook, Lance, Funks of Phone. Checking Funks of Phone with the jab. Yep, on the back foot with the jab. Nice double combination, double punch to the body from Karun. 50 seconds towards the end of the round. Interesting. Yeah, I think we can see that Karun is definitely a little bit fatigued. I like the little run uh, towards Karun. It's very, you know, the guy is playful. I like the, the 150 team guy. He's very playful. Fungsafon is like, he likes to show off a little bit. He likes to ta taunt. I love it. It's good for boxing. All right. So that was, I think that was round number nine, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it in round number eight? I think it was round number eight, so we have probably two rounds left. And I mean, Fong Safon is definitely leading that. Uh, he's leading that um, decisively. Unless something dramatic is going to happen and uh, Karun is going to throw some weird Hail Mary and just knock him out, we can definitely see Fong Safon's hand raised in this. In this fight, ladies and gentlemen, this is Samir Azizi commentating Sister Raketsu Rangbisan Sith Morrison fight. We're seeing undercard. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, don't forget to get the zone by using my link as well, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Okay, they're hugging, so it looks like it's a last round. Okay, round number 10. All right, let's see. Let's see whether Kuran Karun... Jaru Pantel Lart has something in store for us. Not yet. I don't see anything in store for him. If anything, Fonsafon just wants to 
even more decisively land as many punches as possible. Let's see if you're gonna get too confident and too cocky and maybe miss a, a good one. Hmm. Yeah, and I just wanna remind that Fong Safon is a WBC Asian uh, flyweight, super flyweight uh, champion. So it's definitely a championship fight, but we'll see. Still the same exact action, same action, nothing is really happening, I don't see anyone being rocked, I don't see anyone being super fatigued, it's just the same exact thing, which is, I mean, it's a good fight, don't get me wrong, I love where this is going, like, overall, but at the same time, I do not love where this is going, but, you know, those combinations, wow, this was like, nine punch combination from Fong Safon right now, and that was beautiful, honestly. Couple good punches just missed Karun from Fong Safon. Combinations, combinations from Fong Safon, but Karun makes him respect. He gets the, that respect back and he's like, yo, don't get too fancy with me. One minute left till till the end of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. One minute left. Nice body shots from Karun. But yeah, not seeing anything else here. 30 seconds left. I don't see anything at all. I don't see knockout, knockdown or anything, to be honest. But we'll see. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a very nice and confident, decisive win from Fong Safon here. Good job from the ref, by the way. This time, he's I think he's doing a good job. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Is he hurt? Is Karun hurt right now? No, the fight is over. No, 10 seconds left. Smart from Fong Safon. And yes, definitely Fong Safon is winning that fight. But props to Karun. He's, uh, he's no joke. That's for sure. He's no joke at all. So we'll see. Wow, we can see Fong Safon actually kneel before Karun. I love seeing the signs of respect in Thailand. That's pretty cool. Love it. The one thing I don't like about Fong Safon, it's not like I don't like it, but I wish, I wish he was more damaging. Like, I wish he could, like, impose a better damage, like, s some heaviness in his shots. But again, maybe that's the thing about the division. Like, I, I heard that they're not very, you know, the punches are just by the laws of physics are not very damaging because of the weight of the fighters. But we'll see. This is Samir Azizi commentating for Azizi Podcast. I'm watching The Zone. Click on The Zone link and subscribe. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Click like and uh, the bell button as well. Uh, right now, we're watching Undercard. The main fight for tonight will be Sis Roquette Surangusai versus Sir Sm Sith Morthen, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Drop some lines in the chat as well. Oh gosh, I wish, I wish we wouldn't have, I'm, I'm falling asleep to be honest, like I want to have the fight now, can we please have the fight now, that would be so cool if you guys just did that, but I'm guessing it's going to be another undercard, undercard, yo, undercard, whoop, Pop, pop, boop, 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 boop. Da da. Da 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 da. Yeah, бедный Виктор Катачегов. 
What did you think about this video? Conor McGregor reacting to your Romero scale win. Mm, don't mess with Joe Rogan Muay Thai kicks. Shorts. I noticed that I cannot do shorts on YouTube. I thought I can. The Elder Joe 5. What is this? Andy Ruiz. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Что там с ракет, когда выйдет, Кимба говорит. Не знаешь, мне кажется, он еще не выйдет. Где-то еще час, скорее всего, ждать. Фиг его знает. Кимба, ты поставил мне лайк? Yep, 1990, sounds about right. Interesting. I like, like, they have zero emotions. Both fighters just don't care. <laughs> uh, oh, I think they just didn't understand what steel means. I don't know. They started clapping when the names was announced. But who knows? Who knows? Man, I wish more people were watching us right now. I f like, I, like, I have more fun when more of you guys join in. Yo, 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 yo. Yes, babe, I'm live streaming right now. I cannot talk. Anything, something happened? Okay. Say hi on chat. I'm actually talking in English. Damn, you're so disappointed. All right. Do not go anywhere. Oh, is the main event right now? Some boxing action, yo. That's a good announcer. I want to see on Twitter what they say, but he's pretty good. Like, even by American standards, he's pretty good. Rungwisa! Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, right now we're seeing this racket actually um, punching mids, you know, just uh, doing some workout, uh, getting ready, getting hot, getting hot. Southpaw, by the way, this racket is Southpaw. Man, the supermarket. So, okay, let's see. Let's see what the Twitter says. Michael Montero. Man, the supermarket here in Dallas is called Tom Thumb. That could that could be the wackest name ever. No defense of that. That's not a boxing tweet, Tom. Uh, Michael. Um, okay. Big drama show says what they don't show you on the Thailand live feed is the bookmakers, real humans, going around taking your bets while you're at the bar 
or just sitting down watching the fights then after the fight if you won they find you and hand over the winnings that's actually pretty interesting all right what else what else here uh, Matt Cross says wish American Canada boxing had as little clinching as this card that's a cool tweet I'm gonna retweet that all right what else are we having what else are we having here we are in route to hell tonight. All I see is top quality fighters right now. Huh. I don't know what's that about. Okay. Alright. Vampire bad. Nothing else about this fight? Alright. Marcus Villegas. Ah, oh, God. I trolled y'all earlier just to see how far you would all run with it. I don't know. What's that related to? And... Um, hmm... So let's say FYI boxing fans, real Ernie Green has a great chat. Hit him up. Hit him up. Hit him up. It's very clear that Porter wants the Crawford fight, says Ryan O'Hara. All right. Spasiba Kimbo's alike. Um, yeah, I don't see any other. I don't see any other um, cool tweets about these fights tonight. Ba -da -ba. All right, action getting close between Thailand uh, fighters, Karun and Fong Safon. Incredible stamina on display. That's true. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Tiafimo Lopez um, wrote 46 minutes ago, God didn't just make one type of flower. He made thousands of different flowers, and he loves all of them indiscriminately. Indiscriminately, you know what he meant. All right. Um, that was Tiafimo Lopez. Actually, let's check. I have a special list for boxing, so let's check on boxing list. All right. What else we have here? What else here? The zone. Chocolatito Box gives a beautiful response on how he wants to be remembered. Every sacrifice has its rewards in life. And hence in happiness, says Chocolatito. Dan Raphael says, 10 years ago, today, the great real Miguel Cotto knocked out Ricardo Mayaroga in the 12th round to retain his junior middleweight world title. Here's a poster from the fight in my boxing collection. That's pretty cool. Um... Okay, Jim, I have it. Three rounds to zero for Montero. He's just being more active and more accurate with his drinks. That's actually pretty funny. Someone replied to Mike Montero. What else we got here? What else we got here? Tiafimo with his flower stuff. Here's a great film from... So Mike Buffer says, Here's a great film from Matchroom Boxing to get you pumped for Estrada Chocolatita 2. All right, check out that film. Meanwhile, Mike Montero is getting drunk. That's another thing. And um, -da -pa -pa. Lol, some idiot on YouTube actually accused me of that. Says Michael for something. I never use steroids, period. All right, all right. Who's, wow. Tyson Fury looks huge. I only need six, seven weeks training for that, for these bumps, he says. Tyson Fury is taking some time off from training, but he says he can be ready in the in the drop of a hat. Man, I don't know. I don't, is he just? I think he's just playing. Tyson Fury looks weird. He looks badass now. Tom Loeffler issued a daily dialogue with Cecilia Breakers. Check it out on his Twitter. All right, all right. Oh my God, that Pasoli that Mike ate. Oh my God, fantastic! I love Pasoli. I miss Pasoli. Looking back. Da -da -da -da. Doug Fisher called Chocolatito the king. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells me when I've had enough beer. All right. These tweets are getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I hope you enjoyed my little Twitter spat. This is Samira Zizi. We're about to watch Sir Rangvisai fight. He fights Sith Morsen right now. And this fight should be interesting. Let's see if Sir, Sir Rangvisai still, still got it.
still got it. Right now they're showing us the replay of uh, of the fight Sarangusai versus Estrada, where Estrada took the victory, but Sarangusai was pretty much game all of the throughout the whole fight. So that's actually pretty cool too. But I mean, remember that the first Chocolatita the Sarangusai fight, right? We thought that it was a robbery that Chocolatita, you know, won that fight. But with the second fight, oh my gosh, what happened with that second fight? That knockout was tremendous. It was stunning. It was, you know, shuddering. It was so unexpected and so dramatic to see Chocolatita on the canvas. And I saw that live, you know, just spread on the canvas like that. It was crazy, guys. It was so crazy. But, you know, it's definitely, you know, the beauty of boxing. It's definitely something that, you know, what we left the sports for. So we'll see what's going to happen in this fight. And we'll see what's going to happen tomorrow with Chocolatita. Uh, with Chocolatita versus uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. And this is a uh, second fight, right? The, the first fight almost happened 10 years ago. So so we'll see. This is Samira Zizi talking about fights live on YouTube. And watching the fights on the zone where you can click on the zone and subscribe. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that last fight with Estrada happened uh, before pandemic, so we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, definitely uh, Sarangvisai wasn't out of the fight, and uh, Estrada was confident that he would get the win. All right, let's see if we who is who we're gonna get here. Oh, next fight is Sarangvisai versus Sit Morsing. That's awesome. I just like this. Kind of like uh, old movies where they always did that. Um, what's up with my... What's up with my freaking... There we go. All right, Sis Rocket is getting ready. He's nice and ready. Nice and sweaty. Ready Freddy Spaghetti. And uh, let me move this button a little bit. Right, like right here. But I'm excited. The main fight is starting right now, ladies and gentlemen. Come on in. Come on in here to my YouTube channel. Come on, come on, come on. Let's watch it together. Everyone, subscribe and put the likes. Let's do this. Should be bueno. Should be bueno, bueno. Nice haircut from Sis Rocket. Nice haircut from Sis Rocket. So wrong we say. What am I trying to check here? I was trying. I was gonna check something, but I forgot. Uh, I want to see. Maybe someone else is doing life right now. Why are y'all not joining my life? Where are you all going? Where are you watching the fights? Should I just stick to my Russian thing? Was the English thing a bad idea? What's happening here? What's happening here? Rang Visai, Rang Rang Visai. Yeah, boy. Here's here's a com competitor here, Johnny Boxing Empire. 25 people watching him against my beautiful two people who are watching me. <gasps> How dare they? Okay, someone else. Hold on. What is this one? Another. Look at all this commentary, people. What? Here's another one. That's crazy. They all have more people than I. That's just devastating. Nah, just kidding. It's all good. Okay, so there's someone else. So much competition I got here. So much competition. It's crazy. But it's okay. It's okay. We all good here. It's just a test drive. I'm trying to get a grasp of how much. Let me see in Russian. Like what's uh what's the Russian market like right now for the for this fight? Um yeah. Yeah, because I don't see any of my subscribers joining in today, so I wonder if no one's really caring about this fight in the Russian speaking audience. Uh, sis rocket. 
Whoa, what's happening? Harangrisa. Harangvisai. Да что ты будешь делать? Harangvisai. Yeah, so far I'm not seeing anything in Russia. I don't know. Should I stick to Russian? Nah, it's all good. It's actually not that bad. I thought I'll, I'll be worse, but um, I can maintain a flow of conversation with myself. Uh, what has it been? It's been like an hour so far, right? One hour of 24 minutes I've been speaking non-stop. And so far I'm not tired of myself, which is a good sign. Which is a good sign. All right, let's see. Let's see life. What do we have here? Nothing. Interesting. Yeah, I think that just overall interest for this for this one is, you know, a couple people uh, a couple people just doing some lives commentary and maybe at least 25 people are watching them. So with my 20 with my two um, viewers is actually a good result. I'm not going to complain. It's all good. Come on. What are you waiting for? It's also going to be interesting to see with this. I'll probably going to get around 90 views or 100 views here. So I wonder how this gonna how this video is gonna perform overall from uh, advertising perspective, um, and whether that's like uh, man, this Sith Morsing looks kind of weird. I hope I'm not gonna get demonetized for humming the song. You know what I mean? All right, we got the announcer in the ring and he's about to announce this frigid fight. Sis Rocket so ranks. I like how they did that. I like how the zone just put the Sis Rocket fight right before Chocolatito fight. I don't know. Do you think it's going to be a trilogy? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I would like to see Chocolatita versus Sister Kid again, but who knows? Ugh. Come on. All right, I think we're about to start this. I think we're about to start this party. We about to start this party. Workpoint Stadium, ladies and gentlemen, Workport, Workpoint Stadium. Presented to you by Matchroom. How's Matchroom involved in this talent card? By the way, a mushroom is going to be involved in the card in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, yo. What? All right, what are we doing? What's happening? Why is everything quiet? Why does the announcer not say anything and he's not moving? Damn, that was weird. On March 13th, I will be at my best, says Sorang Visai. And will show the world that I am the best 115-pound uh, fighter out there, says Sorang Visai. WP Boxing! And now we see Eddie Hearn telling us how they are all over the here in Thailand. Strata against Chocolatito. I feel like um, 
I am not only preparing for the fight, says Kwan Thai, but I also preparing to fight the winner of Estrada versus Chikolotito. Ooh, however, I'm not overlooking Kwan Thai, but I'm confident that I will beat him impressively, says uh, Sorangisai. So there will be fighting a winner of Estrada Chikolotito. So Sorangisai is going to be... Man, this guy is just not leaving the mix. He's like, I'm not afraid. I'll do my best. Okay, so it's definitely like a sure thing for, uh, for his, uh, for for uh, for Sarang Visai. But we'll see. Boom. All right. The former WBA world champion, ladies and gentlemen. So that's interesting. Ooh, he's uh, he's coming out in this windshield with this face shield, which is, I, I guess, every boxer is supposed to do that. And the mask. Kneels before the steps, says his prayer. He hopes to win. The Sith Morgan guy. Let's see if he's going to go through the ropes or over the ropes. And he is going. He's going through the ropes. What's the first fighter that goes through the ropes? What does it mean? What does that mean? Oh, my God. All right, here's our superstar of the night. Sistrokhet Surangvisai. Let's see how he's going to come out to the ring. Surangvisai. Not Rangvisai. Rungvisai. Sistrokhet Surangvisai. Yeah, boy. The Rat King is here. Thailand, Sistro Katsurungisai, wearing amazing, wow, triple G-like style, uh, how, do you, how do you call that, um, robe, very beautifully done, says his prayer as well, in front of the steps of the ring, kneels before the ring, says his prayer, let's see if he's gonna go over the ropes or through the ropes. And he is going through the ropes, even though it's a little hard, but he does it. And it doesn't seem too hard for him. What a G. What a G. All right. Sister Rocket is here. He's back, baby. He's back. All right. Oh, of course, he got a little stuck in the rope. He's more saying, former WBO BA world champion in Thailand, super flyweight champion. Ooh, former WBA champion. That's interesting. That's 57. What? 50 fights. 50. Well, I don't know. 50 victories, 7 losses. Let's see if he. If Sis Rocket got out of his rope. But the uh, mm, okay, I don't know. we're still we're still getting the tail of the tape right now. Sid Marsang, you yeah, boy. All right, Sister Cat is ready to go. Got rid of his rope, and he's ready to go. Man, he's so in shape right now. He's so ready. He's so charred. I'm super charged. I'm wired. Let's do it.
wrong with All right. All right. Sister Kid is uh, 34. Sismore saying is 38. Height 160. 114.7, 114.9. And the weigh in reach 170 versus 166. Eh, I don't know. I like these numbers, yo. All right, let's go. Sis Rocket Sir Rung Visai versus Sis Morgan. Yo, Ty Foster, what's up, man? How's it going, man? Let's go. All right. What's happening? <laughs> that was weird. The ref just did a weird thing. He didn't actually announce the fight. All right. Well, the first round has already started. So that was weird. That was like very anticlimactic. It was just like sort of started. It was not like, I don't know. It was weird. Anyways, the first round is here. Total rounds, 10, 10 rounds. Let's see if Sister Kid can finish this um, relatively early. And so that we can all go to sleep. Chilling in Los Angeles. Hello. Yo, Ty. I love Los Angeles. As I was saying, I've watched the last time I watched Sister Kid Chocolatito. I was in Los Angeles and digging to stop Hop Center. So, that was awesome. Ty, man, don't forget to subscribe and press press that like button. I'm doing this for the first time in uh, in English. I used to do it in Russian. I'm still doing it in Russian, but I'm just talking about fights in English uh, today. Uh, because I don't think anyone in Russia is caring about this fight, to be honest. But I care about this fight, and I hope people who are watching me are caring about this fight as well. But anyways, shout out to Los Angeles. I miss it. I miss it. Came back from I've been there with November, December last time. All right. Well, first round it's kind of um, starting real slow. They're just exchanging some shots here. Exchanging some shots. And I wouldn't even say, yeah, I think so. Wrong the side is a little better. He's a little bit more active, but even he right now just lost, uh, just missed a good uppercut. So I wouldn't say there's some some dominating going on from Sis Roquette. Yeah, I think they're just like playing it safe right now, trying to feel each other and like feel the distance, feel the power punch. Again, like nice uppercuts from Sis Morsang. Good jabs from uh, Sarang Visai. Got a little wobble, I think, even uh, Sith Marken. Weird leg. I don't know. Damn, his calves, though, are gigantic. Very slow, very slow start. It's like a game of chess. Step by step, ladies and gentlemen, step by step. But definitely, Sister Cat is pressing Sis Morgan. He's definitely, you know, going forward. He's a going forward fighter in this round. All right. Uh, probably was, was like a headbutt or something, but no one really cared about it. Oh, you know what's interesting? They put some we like weird cubicle things in the corners as like a commercial banner. That thing i never seen before. All right, so that was the end of the first round. Nothing really happened. Some some quick jabs and some, some you know, some, some textbook stuff, but nothing drastic, nothing. No one took risks, you know, but no one also played it too safe. So it was a good first round, I would say, you know, from both, from two veterans, from two professionals. Ladies and gentlemen, I remind you that my name is Samir Azizi, and welcome to Azizi Podcast. Here I do boxing interviews, boxing content, and other interviews as well. Business, politics, or anything that's possible, it's all in my chat and my podcast. Subscribe anywhere. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to The Zone by using the link that I provided in the description. And I also do commentary in Russian, and this is my first English commentary, so we are celebrating. All right, round number two, ladies and gentlemen. Round number two. Let's see if people will take more risks. For, 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 come on, come on. We want to see more risks here. I want to see more power punches. 
Oh, and by the way, you guys who just joined us, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. We're watching Sister Rockets to Rung Side. Tomorrow we're gonna watch Cecilia Breakers and Chocolate Tito fights. And right now I'm seeing Sister Rockets is playing the first number again, and he's pressing him, and he's actually definitely landing some good punches on. Uh, wow, that's a nice combination from Sid Mor uh, fr uh, from Sister Rocket on Sid Morgan. Oh, nice uppercut, vicious upper hat to the uppercut. Yeah. I don't know. This is definitely looks more interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to press that like button. Ooh. You can see that uh, Sid Morsen, he is feeling every punch that is being landed on him. Whenever Sister Rocket throws a punch, he says, ish, 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 ish. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I don't know, it's weird. I don't see Sismore saying, like, lasting long in this fight. He's already being a little bit thrown off. His body language doesn't say much here. Oh, my God, he's, he might be actually it. Maybe in this round, he's actually will fold, to be honest. Oh, my God, he's just missing. Even Sister Rocket is like, damn, you guys. Really? You're already done? I think Sis Morsang is definitely... He's not like uh, Karun from the last previous fight, you know? He is definitely something. I feel like Karun will be f lasting better against uh, Sis Rocket than this guy. But he's still in the game. He still tries to... He tries to throw some, some jabs here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, I can see that uh, Sister Cat's opponent is getting so fatigued, so tired, so quickly. All right, we have the uppercuts. Uh, honestly, I just, let's just finish this fight. I don't want to see this for like eight more rounds. This is just ridiculous. Yeah. Yep, second round is over, and I don't, I don't even know what to say here. Okay, so Sister Kid is just doing his thing while his opponent just waits there. And uh, I really hope something else is going to happen here, because I don't want to watch this for eight more rounds, then, honestly. But we'll see. Let me know in the chat what you guys think. Controller, controller. Yep, as the commentators on TV say, the ring generalship is something that Sister Kid is definitely having right now he is the general el general what's where where's my charger what happened uh, all right We have the bell of the ring, the ringer, for round number three. Oh, it's fine. It's the same Mohawk guy in the corner. So I guess they have the same Cutman uh, for everyone. It's like UFC. All right. Here we go again. Yeah. Uh, it's just power punches by Sister Kid, body shots, hooks to the body, hooks to the head, uppercuts. Nothing, nothing from uh, Sis Morsing. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, one shot he just threw. Two shots he threw. Yeah, he's he's just showing like, wow, like this is tough. This is tough. Below the belt.
And yeah, as the commentator says, like these are power shots, but this he is not going 100% on those shots yet, Sister Cat. So he didn't even turn on the next gear. Yeah, we're just saying we're just seeing that Sister Cat is just constantly doing this power punching thing this the volume the sheer volume of punching is just so punishing for for his opponent for sis morsang so i don't know i feel like we already have this victory in the pocket and uh it's it's so cool that you know we have chocolatita estrada tomorrow to see who is the winner and who's going to fight sis rocket but right now we can see like this is like we have this show on display for sis rocket to see what's going to happen you know in this fight, which we, we, we probably already know what's going to happen in this fight. I just want to see, like, a good knockout. I feel like Sister Cat can do it. Like, if he knocked out Chocolatita, the king, he can die. Whoa! Whoa! See, Morgan just uh, landed a nice one and uh, snapped back the head of Sister Cat to Uh But we'll see. Like, I'm still hoping that there's going to be, like, some sort of a dramatic ending to the whole thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Sister Cat, do it. Yay, he took a knee. He took a knee. Took a knee. Sis which is smart, by the way. I'm learning right now when box like it's very smart to take a knee. Very smart to take a knee. Ay 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 ay. Yep. Same thing, but tries to throw the jab right now. Ay, 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 missed a good shot. Oh. Let's see if he's going to quit. Let's see if he's going to quit right now. By the way, what a huge ring. Gigantic ring for this, for this, guy, for this type of guys. You know, at the 115 pound level. Let's see if he's going to go another round or he's going to quit. Damn. I don't know. Looks like he's um he's gonna continue. Looks like he's gonna go to the second uh what was it? it? To the um... <laughs> Nice sucker shot. Uh let's see if he's gonna continue or not. Like honestly, there's no reason for him to continue this fight. Let's see. Let's see if he's gonna do it. I don't understand. I don't understand. We don't have any. Yeah, I think he's quitting. Yeah, I think he quit. Yep, he quit, ladies and gentlemen. And Sister Cat wins by technical knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so his cli his uh his eye is closing, and so the ref just stopped the fight. I mean, obviously, Sis Rocket is just so much better. So, ladies and gentlemen, Sis Rocket has officially won this fight by the technical knockout. His opponent quit, and his eyes is actually in fact closing. So we definitely see how his eyes is closing, and uh... yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's no shame in that, and Sis Rocket is definitely. Let's see. We don't have any... Yeah, Sister Cat is very contempt. He's not really celebrating much, so... Well, we'll see. Yeah, so, okay. So, we definitely have Sorang Visai ready on the sidelines. And we're going to see tomorrow when Chocolatita will be fighting versus... Uh, uh, Estrada. I don't know. It might be... I honestly see Estrada winning this fight, to be honest. I think it's going to be Sister Rocket Surang Visai versus Estrada, and it's going to be a second fight. So it's actually, which is a good matchup, you know, second fight with Chikolatito, Chikolatito fights Surang Visai two times, and now Surang Visai will fight Estrada two times. So we'll see if that's going to, if my prediction is going to be true. But I feel like this is it. Let's, let's hear for the final announcement, and uh, we're going to wrap it up, and we're going to go to sleep. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a nice fight. I love the card. I love the production. 
honestly. Um, very simple, very nice. Great replays, great highlights. Props to the whoever's doing that and uh, props to the zone for hiring the right people or at least, you know, signing up the right people to to be in charge of the whole thing or at least, you know, doing their thing. But uh, we're just seeing a bunch of highlights. Honestly, there's no highlights at all from uh, from uh, Sid Morgan. But, um, but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is what it is. A lot of highlights, a lot of highlights. Let's just announce the fight already. Let's just announce the winner and uh, we're gonna wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Samir Azizi. Don't forget to push like, press like, press the subscribe button, press the bell button and I will appreciate everything, your chats and definitely subscribe to to my channel and we're gonna talk more. Hopefully, we're gonna talk more in English and uh, yeah, I've been talking in English for about two hours straight, one hour, 50 minutes. And I can hear already my voice is getting a little bit <clears throat> a little bit rusty, a little bit rusty, but we're still here, we're still in the game. Uh, there have been times I was speaking for four and a half hours nonstop. But this one is different because this is in another language. But yeah. You know. Alright, I don't want to see any more highlights, please. This man has been tortured enough. It's funny how Sister Kid is not smiling at all. Like they all smiley there, but uh, like the previous fighters during fights, they're smiling and it's like shaking hands. But Sister Kid is just so focused. He knows that he's a different type of breed. He's a different animal. He's like, I am a superstar, baby. It's a serious business for me. All right, here comes our announcement. And I remind everyone that TKO Sisraket Sirangvisai won over his opponent Sith Morrison, ladies and gentlemen. Sirangvisai has won, everybody. Man, he is barely smiling. He is so serious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude our edition of commentary from Samira Zizi. And welcome to Azizi Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, press like to this video. And I will be concluding this edition. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. I hope we'll see each other more. And uh, please um, don't forget to stick around and subscribe.